don't want to have happen to a life raft. But we have a fire here, and a fire and a life raft have a lot in common. If you have a fire on a boat, you want to have a life raft. I wouldn't recommend a life raft for sailing around the bay, but if you're going offshore, it's a piece of insurance that you might want to consider. So this may be a total dud, and we, um, we apologize if it is, but we've had this life raft um, since we were cruising in 2000. When we repacked it in the Caribbean, it cost us $900 to repack. You have to repack a life raft every three to five years. And the range in prices goes from $600 to $1,000. And the reason for that expense is your life raft certification people are going to look at what's in your life raft. They're going to look at the flashlights, the fishing lures, the flares, the CO2 cartridges, the life jackets, all of that stuff, and they're going to replace it. So if we're fortunate today, this thing will detonate, it will pop open, and then you can take a look at what a four-person life raft looks like. If it doesn't detonate, well, then if you ever get a life raft, hope it doesn't do what this one doesn't do. Okay, so um, I'm going to need somebody strong because I haven't got the, the strength but uh, to pull this right now. But the way it works is this is in a stainless cradle on the boat. If your boat is sinking and you've notified the Coast Guard or anybody else, you throw this thing in the water. That tether is attached to your boat and that triggers the CO2, the canister pops open, the life raft pops open. Now we've done this when we were um, recertifying our life raft. They opened it up for us. They didn't detonate it, but they opened it and we could crawl in it and what have you. So. I hope that you can um, take advantage of this. If we have to cut it open with a can opener, we'll do that for you. <laughs> do, do you have any questions? Um, you got a strong man be, right behind you there. Uh, yeah. There might be some 20 